Hi everybody, welcome back to Wainwright Road. I am Marjorie Cook and today we're going to use these Dollar Tree stainless steel bowls. We're going to make personalized kitty bowls for Samson and Bing Crosby and Danny Kay. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. So the first thing that we do is create our text on the Cricut and weed it out. What I like to do is save the exterior of what I'm weeding. I cut it out in a rectangle so that when I pull it out, I have basically a stencil. And then I save that off to the side. And you'll see me pulling the interior of the O and the P and the A so that the next time I make a cat project where I need my cat's names, I already have a stencil created. And rather than doing a decal on that one, I will plan to do a stencil and I'll just paint their names on. And it just, it doubles the life of your decals or your vinyl when you do it that way. It just makes perfect sense to me. And so I try to do this as often as I can. It doesn't always work out. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to do it, but probably 90% of the time, this is how I like to do it and it saves me a bunch of money. It makes my, my vinyl last a really long time. So once we have that done, we're gonna apply it to the bowls. I don't show you that part just because, again, lots of tutorials on how to do that, and that's not what this video is about. This video is about the cat station. So that's the decal for the first one, and then I'll go back and make decals for the next two. And here we go. You can see I've applied it. There's Danny Kay's, and I made a large bowl that said hydrate. So the next stop, or the next step rather, is to apply the ramekins that I'm using as the feet. And you can use anything for feet. I just happen to use these ramekins that came from the Dollar General that is here in my town. We, we don't have a Dollar Tree, we have a Dollar General. And I found these one day, they were on super sale, so I think I paid 50 cents a piece for these. I'm using liquid nails to apply them. I did not use hot glue because it doesn't stick to ceramics all that well and I wanted this to be permanent. Um, that first one's a mess. I kind of spread it like peanut butter thinking it was gonna be like when you apply tile and that didn't work. So now I'm pressing it down really good and firm. It's time to apply the bowls, same thing. Hot glue isn't gonna work here and the bottoms are concave. So I need to build them up a little bit and to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and use some tumbling tower blocks. Just one block. You can see I'm showing you how it, it kind of bends there. So one tumbling tower block per bowl on the bottom just to build it up a little bit so that the liquid nails will stick. And again, liquid nails, no hot glue, it's not gonna stick to the metal good enough. So then two dots on each piece of wood and I plop it down there and I let it dry. Just let it, let it stick. Liquid nails is literally what it says. It's liquid nails. It's adhesive from hell. It's not going anywhere. In fact, if you change your mind later, you're out of luck. <laughs> I, I've never been able to get this stuff apart. Not without a crowbar. So once I've got that in place, and I let it dry for a couple hours, I set it out, and that was it. That was the entire project. Um, the cats love it. Um, you're gonna wonder about washing it. Truth is, you're never supposed to wash your cat's bowls. They leave scent in it, and it's important that you don't wash it. You can clean them out, but you don't wanna actually wash them. Here's all three. Uh, left to right, we've got Danny Kay, Bing Crosby, and Samson. The cateteria sign there is an old cabinet door that I had done for their last feeding station. We are going to remove that entire row of cabinets when we do our kitchen remodel in the next few months. So I needed to get them used to eating outside of their former eating station. And that's why I made this project. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can recreate it if it fits your kitchen. And um, thanks for dropping by. You have a great day.